All right, what's going on, you guys? You saw the title of the video. You know what we're doing. Uh, pretty much, I wanted to see if I could make a deep learning neural network uh, age prediction model in just 10 minutes. Uh, so that's what we're going to be trying to do today. We'll see if we can do it. Um, pretty much, yeah, we, we're going to do this in a collab notebook, um, mostly for the GPU use, um, so that I could uh, train the model faster. Um, the only things I've done so far is put... So I found this data set, which just had a, like 10,000 images that are that are cropped and the labels um, are part of like the image name, which is really helpful. Um, and then all I've really done so far is did a couple commands that uh, put the Google Drive folder in here and then unzip it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> all right, are we ready? Three, two, one go okay uh, we're gonna do numpy um, we need CV2 we're gonna do tensorflow I know PyTorch is faster I don't want to hear it though I don't, I've never really used PyTorch before um, okay so let's get a path variable going and then we can just os.list directory. Um, perfect. And then you can see that we have, yeah, just under 10,000. Um, okay. So now we want to, first let's get the labels. So we're going to grab path and paths. We want to split this by um, underscore, and then we want to take the first one, which is the age. We're going to convert that to a float, and then we're going to convert this all to a numpy array. That should be what I want. Let's check the first one. Okay. Um, and then we want to format these images. Um, CV2.imread path. Uh, wait, we actually want to do, yeah, path plus that. There we go. Uh, image, and then we'll do image equals CV2. Dot resize image and we're going to do 128 and then return image okay now we'll call this data equals for path and paths format image okay that should work wait wait we want to do this as an mp array TensorFlow does not like anything that's not a numpy array. Okay, I think that's working. Uh, we want to split these, so model selection. Okay, um, and then I always get confused about this part. Train x, train test x, right? Yeah, train y. Test y equals Try to split data labels to test size equals 0 0.2. Okay. Um, okay. TensorFlow. We want, let me see, what model do we want to use? I was thinking we use uh, MobileNet. TensorFlow MobileNet. Tf.keras.applications. Keras.applications import mobile net. Okay, we want some layers. Tensorflow. Keras.layers actually. Okay, and then we want. Okay. Keras dot sequential. Um, let me see. Whoops. So we're gonna use mobile net. Okay, input shape equals 
128, 128, 3, right? Uh, include top, we don't want that. Where is that? Include top equals false. Uh, we'll do average pooling. I feel like I'm missing one. Um, maybe not. I feel like I'm missing. Oh, yeah, wait. Image net. And then we'll just do a dense layer of one. No activation for that. Summary. I really hope this is going to work, you guys. <laughs> Um, okay, compile, god damn it, dot compile, I'm going to use uh, Atom, and then I'm going to do, I was thinking between M8, mean squared or mean absolute, I'm going to go mean absolute, I guess it doesn't really matter too much, or at least it shouldn't, okay, model.fit, okay, we want to make sure we're doing this right. Uh, X train, Y train. Let's do a batch size of 64 epochs. Let's do, let's do five. No, let's do four. Um, validation data equals test. Y test. Do I want anything else here? Mm. Uh, batch size I have. Okay, I think I have everything. This is like the longest part, and I really hope this is gonna. Now we just pretty much pray that these numbers go down. Oh yeah, I do have a picture that I was going to test myself on. Oh, it's already in there. Okay. Um, test pick cv two dot i am read. Okay, <laughs> these numbers are going down. Um, okay, and then we want to resize it. Uh, do I need a three in there? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. And I can also show you guys some of the images in the <clears throat> that I have to um, test pick. Okay, it's done training. Okay, we're going. We're doing pretty good so far. Resize. What the hell is this? Okay, so that's me. <laughs> oh wait, 228? Wait, isn't it 128? Yeah, it's 128. Um, okay. Dict, test pick. And I'm pretty sure I have to resize it. Let me see if this works. Okay, yeah, yeah, I need to resize it. Test pick equals test pick dot reshape, right? One, three, 128. Or is it, what's it expecting? 128, 128, three. All right, let's see what we got here. 25. 
Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm almost 23. And I, and I could see myself being 25 here. Okay. So, nine minutes. That was actually pretty good. Wow. I was not expecting to actually get it. I was expecting this to throw something crazy or run into more errors or something. But wow, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Okay, cool. I mean, obviously, if I wanted to make this better and more accurate, I'd increase the image size, use more images, and then include other things like a learning rate scheduler or um, something else like that. But yeah, I think that was just over nine minutes, so I'm actually pretty pumped about that. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. I post a lot of cool shit like this. Um, and yeah, until my next video, uh, have a good one. Bye.